distribution with added value. Familiar words in the business community. Companies like Walmart have proven the money that can be made in this arena, and there are plenty of local companies that have tried similar ideas. One local company that has made their mark is Keating Technologies. Founded 21 years ago, they have taken reselling to a whole new level. The model seems simple. Instead of high-tech companies spending a fortune opening a subsidiary in Canada, let a company who knows this market take care of the sales, marketing, and tech support. Since opening shop, Larry and the Keating family has brought over $1.5 billion of product to Canada. But to represent a large firm to nation, you'd better have something to offer. I think there's three things on their mind when they're looking at Keating for representation services. Number one, can we achieve the goal? Can we grow their business? And number two, can we do it economically? And number three, are we going to do it with you know, class and distinction? Are we going to represent them in a way that would equal or better how they would conduct themselves in the marketplace? There's a flip side to being a successful distributor. The image of your business is also reflected by the products you represent. Keating has a plan for selecting the right products. I, I think a program we built very early in the company, a five-point program, uh, has really served us extremely well. And we apply it consistently to every technology that we see. Uh, first, we ask ourselves the question, does the company own real technology? We then ask, how are they financed? What is their go-to-market plan? What does their management team look like? And finally, is there a good cultural fit between their organization and ours? Uh, if they kind of pass on those five things, and there's a lot goes on to pass them through that process, they're a good candidate for representation for us. And so we turn that table a little bit about just out looking for products and try to sign anything that's, uh, uh, that's available. Selling the product is not the final step in the marketing process. Keating has taken about 5 million tech support calls since opening. They have found that they could give Canadian customers what they want locally. Customers need tech support. They need the products that they bought to work. Uh, what they don't want is to spend an inordinate amount of difficulty or time achieving that end. Uh, we've made sure that our processes are streamlined and fast, that the customer gets on and off the phone real quick. Our average wait times on the phone, uh, uh, we measure in, you know, in, in seconds. They can run 120 seconds or 160 seconds. Uh, average wait time across the board throughout a day. With 20 years of selling products to Canadians, Heating is now leveraging their experience and some of their bigger partners to launch a new product and service called No Panic Computing. This is a laptop that offers the security and online backups that until now only companies with large IT departments could experience. If your laptop is lost or stolen, your encrypted information will be deleted remotely and a new laptop with all of your content will be replaced in days. Well, an evolution within Keating over the last few years has been to recognize the need that professionals have to have a secure, backed up and productive notebook computer. But what does the guy who, you know, has got six people in his firm, but he's still got, you know, legal information or accounting information or engineering information on his notebook? But what we've, we've done is fashioned a service that is notebooks as a service. Um, we take a notebook computer, we put on the you know, complete operating system, and when our customers have looked at it, when the professionals have delved into the product, they've seen that this is actually a very good value because my backup, my security, and uh, my service is all done. I don't have to buy those as extras. Keating continues to grow despite increased competition and changes in the retail market. One reason is because they never took the customer for granted. The secret to our success is making sure that we always take into first account, and I know it sounds cliche, but the customer's experience in mind. Uh, when we're out looking for technologies, we're asking ourselves those important questions. What's the ultimate experience going to be like? If we simply focused on making money, if it was all about what our income statement and our balance sheet looked like, I think long ago, vendors would have looked at us and said, well, look at the products that they've carried. That's part of the secret, having an eye on the customer rather than just on the money. Big Fish Video Productions.